Okay, I'm going to show you how to tie one of these beaver silencers in here. Um, there's been some confusion. Some guys have never done this and maybe don't know how to serve. You have to tie these in and it's served on each end. Um, this is my own uh, recurve and I don't have any special tools. I don't have a bow press, uh, bow vise or anything like that. I've got it tied down to uh, the arms here on the table saw. Put some uh, rags around it and tape those on so I wouldn't scratch the limbs on my bow. Um, I've already relaxed this bow string, let it down, and separated the string uh, evenly. Uh, ideally you want the same number of strands on both sides, but you don't have to get it exactly perfect. Just, uh, you know, as close as you can can. And you can count the strands if you want, but you don't necessarily have to. Um, these need to be served with the direction of the twist and you can adjust your twist after these are tied on you can add more or you can uh, take some away whatever it doesn't really matter it doesn't have anything to do with these but this uh, cardboard I've separated the string and I got a piece on each end one one end you're gonna start it and the other end you're gonna need to finish it and the opposite end needs to go through the bow string also and so I'm gonna take a flat little flat screwdriver use something uh, it's not going to damage your bow string. And uh, just slide that in there. Just be careful you don't tear up any of the strands. And I uh, separate that, pry it open a little, and uh, get the silencer started through there. Now, I'll take my cardboard out. You can use a pair of uh, needle nose pliers here to slide it wherever you want. And uh, get the tip of that leather there started through. It helps if you shave just a little bit, trim just a little bit of that hair off the end so you've got it down to the leather. That hair is not in your way. Okay, now that I've got this started through here, I'm going to wrap it skin side down with the direction of the twist on the bow string and try to keep your the leather part of your wraps right next to one another kind of separate your hair back as you go and uh, just try and keep it all nice and snug you can snug it up after you get these in here, but just make sure the hide is facing the bowstring. I try to cut all of these at least six inches long. There will never be any shorter than six inches. Six inches is plenty to do the job. Uh, depending on how the hide comes out when I when I cut it in strips, some may be a little longer, um, but there will be never any shorter and uh, just wrap that wrap that around like that keep the hide down and laying right next to itself okay now when you get down to the end here hold on to your strip of beaver hide here you don't want to lose your wraps get that hair out from under it so you can see what you're doing now, this last piece of cardboard here, slide it up here where I can get in there and work with it. Take your, your uh, flat screwdriver and uh, put it in there. I'll slide it up here as close as I can get it. Hope you can see what I'm doing. But I want to pry that bowstring apart again. And slide this tip of it into that beaver hide where you're going to end it. Slide it through there. Take your screwdriver out. Pull this cardboard out. And there, your silencer's in there. I take my uh, needle nose pliers, 
grab a hold of the tip end of that beaver hide. Just kind of snug it up there against it. It's not going to go anywhere. There. Now it's in there. It needs to be tied. Make sure my other end is still in there like I want it. There we go. Now, I've only got one short piece of uh, actual serving string left here. And uh, show you how to use that uh, to serve this in. But you can use an old bowstring. I've got one here that I cut the loop off the end. And this serving that's around the, the Dacron string you pull that right off see that you pull that uh, serving off that bowstring and what you got is all these nice strong fibers here and you can separate those and uh, it would probably take I'd say about two strands of that maybe three and uh, it's already waxed and everything. You can twist that, and that makes excellent serving string. It's really strong. Um, but I'm just going to tie one end in first here and uh, show you how that works. I'm going to start at this end because you'll be able to see a lot better since I'm next to that silencer right there. Uh, take your serving string. I'd say a piece about. 12 to 16, 18 inches long. Be sure and leave yourself plenty if, if you've got enough there. I don't have much here to work with. Uh, just take both strands, tie a knot in that end to where it just makes a big loop like that. Now, I use this uh, threader here for uh, these. Uh, rubber cushion buttons and uh, I use it kind of like a needle like a needle and a thread it makes it a whole lot easier and uh, before you do that take your bowstring wax put some on that string there on your bowstring and go through your opening here in between the strands just like that and I usually pull my knot end up here to the eye of the uh, the threader and just pull that through okay with that pulled through don't pull your loop all the way through there Run your threader back through. Get the beaver hair out of your way and cinch that down. Pull it up tight against your silencer there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to make loops all the way up. Put a little wax on your uh, serving string there. It just helps everything cinch down really nice and what I do here is I go around and come through in between there towards the silencer tighten that down and then pull it back against your beaver silencer just keep doing that another one go around your string through the hole through the loop and pull it down cinching as you go, pull that down, around string through the loop, cinch it down.